Hi, my name is Sari Hirsch, and today I'll be discussing the pros and cons of e-cigarettes. From a smoker's point of view, e-cigarettes can be really beneficial. Um, it has been proven that e-cigarettes contain less harmful chemicals such as carbon monoxide and arsenic, which are proven to increase risk of cancer and other harmful diseases. And e-cigarettes contain less of those chemicals, so in that sense, they're also more beneficial to someone who might be addicted to nicotine. Also, it has been found that using vapes can help someone smoke quit smoking, but this can only be done if it's used in the appropriate manner, meaning that the person who's trying to quit smoking needs to put a deadline on when they're going to stop using vapes, because if not, then they'll just get hooked on the vapes, and then it's honestly just the same cycle, and they won't be able to quit that, and it'll be just as difficult. It's also legal in a lot of buildings, which can be both a pro and a con. For the smoker, this can be a pro, because when those cravings hit, instead of having to get up and leave where they are, they can just hit their vape and be relieved, and it doesn't have to interrupt all of their work. While there are many pros to e-cigarettes, there are also a lot of cons from the smoker's point of view. So yes, it has been proven that these e-cigarettes contain less harmful chemicals, but they're still there. So if you were to get hooked on an e-cigarette rather than just smoking tobacco, you'd still be inhaling all these chemicals and eventually they would become just as harmful as smoking cigarettes. It would just maybe take a longer period of time. And this can still be deemed toxic. As for someone who chooses not to smoke or um, engage in vaping, there's also some pros for them. So vaping has been proven that there's no secondhand smoke. So unlike a cigarette, if you're next to someone who's smoking a cigarette, you're going to be then inhaling all of those harmful toxins. If they're vaping around you, that's not the case, so you won't feel those effects. So say family member is smoking, you might, it might be beneficial to switch them over to vapes, not only to help themselves, but also to help you. And if they do choose to switch over to vapes, again, this can help them quit if used correctly. More recently, there's been a lot of restrictions on advertisements and who can buy vapes because before this, there was a big issue with vapes being sold to the target market, but their target market was young adolescent, adolescents, and people were hoping that this generation would be the first generation to not be addicted to nicotine, but because of vapes, this is not true. Vapes have been popularized around teenage teenagers kids as young as 13 are getting their hands on this this e-cigarette and that's not okay this industry is a 10 billion dollar industry and there's way too many um, different brands on the market with different flavors and yes those flavors can help people quit but it's targeted towards younger people this industry needs to do a better job of saying of putting restrictions on those. And going off of that, governments have been doing a big push to get sales of e-cigarettes out of the hands of minors. So in a lot of states, you have to be 18 or even 21 to buy an e-cigarette, which is honestly a really big push towards this getting out of the hands of the youth. Also, there's been a lot of restriction on advertisements and flavors. So also in a lot of states, they're not allowed to sell these flavored vapes. They're only allowed to sell like the unflavored, normal, same as what like a cigarette would be. So that has been really good to get this out of the hands of the youth. Also, because vaping is so popular, you can see it almost anywhere you go. And while it's being banned in a lot of places, it's still out there. And young kids are seeing people smoking, not cigarettes anymore, but using vape, using vapes, which is honestly just as bad because they're still seeing this. In conclusion, e-cigarettes are definitely beneficial if used in the right way. And that is to help someone quit using it in moderation, but is also harming the youth and just creating more issues around nicotine addictions than we've already had in the past.